Hey Max, and today I'll show you how to make a laser in your game. Using this you can detect what it hits and you can also scale the laser to the distance between where it is and what it hit. So this can give some pretty cool effects. If you like this tutorial feel free to check my other ones, they might help you as well. Other than that let's get into it. So first I'll drag in my laser emitter and you can see it's pretty big. I could reduce the scale to make it smaller but that's going to cause some issues later. So instead I'd rather increase the pixel per unit. So in my case I want my laser emitter to be about 1 unit so I'll make it 1920 pixel per unit because it's 1920 wide. And just like that I hit apply and it, it gets smaller without changing the scale. So I'll drag it over here and then I'll put my laser under it. And same thing with my laser, the scale I could reduce it but instead I'd rather reduce or actually increase the pixel per unit to 1920 because it's 1920 wide. And that's going to make it 1 unit wide. Now I'm going to reduce the scale Y a little bit to make it the height of the emitter and I'm going to set the color to red and the reason why we set the pixel per unit to the size of the sprite is because I want my laser to be exactly one unit wide so this way if I change the scale x to let's say 2 now it's going to be 2 unit wide and the reason why I'm doing this is because in the script when we hit something we can get the distance to it in units so we want to set the scale to the distance in unit so we want the scale to be exactly like 1x is one unit but now you can see if I increase my scale, it increases in both sides instead of just one side. And that's because we didn't set our pivot. So click on the sprite, go into sprite editor, and you see the blue circle at the middle here? That's your pivot. So just drag it to the left, about in the middle right here, and hit apply at the top right. Now if I move my laser to the tip of the emitter and I increase my scale, you can see it grows only on the right. So now let's create the script for the laser. I'll create a C sharp script and call it laser. In the laser class, I will create a public layer mask uh, layers to hit. And in here, in the editor, we will select all the layers we want the laser to hit. And that can be useful, for example, if you have some triggers in your map for when the player enters something, you don't want the laser to hit that. Or maybe if you have some type of glass or something and you want the laser to go through it. Then in the update function, I want to get the angle of the game object. So if the laser has a rotation, I want to get that. And this is going to be useful to get the direction to use the raycast. So first I'll do float angle equals to transform dot Euler angles, which is the rotation dot Z times mat F dot deg to rad because I want it in radians and not in degrees. And the reason why I want it in radians is because the mat F uses radians for the cos and sin, which is the next thing that we're going to do. So we do vector2 direction equals to new vector2 and we do matf dot cos angle and then the other one is matf dot sin angle. So now we have the direction that our laser is pointing at. So next we just have to do raycast hit 2d and then call it whatever you want. I'll call it hit and then we do equals to physics 2d dot raycast transform dot position so the position of the laser in the direction that we are aiming and then the maximum range I'll do 50 and finally the layers so we'll do layers to hit then we'll check if we hit nothing so if it dot collider equals equals to null then we want to set the transform dot local scale equals to new vector 3 and we want to do 50 because the maximum distance is 50 and then 1 1 or actually in my case my laser scale y is 0.2 so I want to keep that so I could either put 0.2 here or I could just copy and paste this with the y so I'm sure I'm going to keep it no matter what I set it to and then I want to return because obviously if I didn't hit anything I don't want to do anything after that but if I did hit something, then I want to copy this line. And instead of setting it to 50, I want to set it to hit the distance, which is the distance in unit. And then we can do something like debug.log hit.collider.gameobject.name. And this is going to print the name of the game object that we hit. And you could do something like if hit.collider.tag equals equals to player. So if we hit the player, then you could do destroy hit.collider.gameobject. So if we hit the player, it's going to destroy the game object. So now if we go back in Unity and we attach our laser script to our laser, 
like this, just add laser. Then I'm going to go on my player thing here, add the tag player, add the layer player and put it on there and add the layer rock for my rock and add the layer enemy for my enemy. So here my player, I'll put it on player, my enemy on enemy and my asteroid on rock. And now if I go on my laser and layer to it and I hit player, rock and then enemy so you can check multiple ones. Then if I run this, it should show my laser shooting up to 50 wide and it didn't hit anything. And now if I take my laser emitter and I rotate it until I hit something, well you can see it's not really working. And that's because my things here that I have on my map don't have any colliders. So let me give my player a box collider 2D, my enemy a circle collider 2D, and my rock here a polygon collider 2D, so it's going to fit the shape perfectly. So now if I run this and I rotate it a little bit, you can see when I get on the rock, it changes the size of the laser to stop at the rock and it prints in the console asteroid. Now if I go on the enemy, you can see it works perfectly as well with the collider. And if I go on my player, it should destroy it and there you go, it did. So the laser is going to change size if it goes onto something and it's also going to change size if instead something goes in its path. So as you can see, if I move the object, it changes the laser and it's also only going to detect the first thing it hits so let's say I put the asteroid in its path and I put the enemy behind you can see the enemy does not get printed in the console only the asteroid and if I go on the laser and I uncheck rock you can see now it goes through it and it hits my enemy so this is very simple but it's a very cool effect to add to your game hopefully that was helpful to you if it did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out my other unity tutorials if you want